This is the beginning. The birth of a god. Called by one pure prayer. Born out of desperation. To be a god. To wield the power of good and evil. That is your destiny. Conscience, we're part of you. Our role is to help you be the god you want to be. So, we'll guide you as you make your godly way through whatever this world throws at you. But before then, you'll want to learn the basics. We'll help you with all that, but even more importantly, you'll need a creature. Hey, let's go and choose one. There they are. Wonderful, aren't they? You have four to choose from, but the one you choose will be with you throughout your whole time in this world. So consider carefully and make your choice wisely. Let us tell you about these amazing beasts. All creatures can be trained to become lovable, mischievous pets. Or they can be the ultimate disciplined weapons of destruction and war. <laughs> Any creature you choose can become these things. That's the wonder of a god's creature. It can become whatever you wish. All creatures will grow up to be huge and powerful. They can be cute, quirky pets, inquisitive and fun-loving. Or they can be single-minded war machines. All creatures will be as good or evil as you teach them to be. Yeah, right. I'd rather they spread love in the form of a massacre or two by going into battle. Creatures can live for war, domination, and destruction. Oh, such a shame if you ask me. Whichever creature you choose will change according to what he learns and does. They all have their own lives, but you need to be a responsible parent and not overfeed them. So, now it's time to choose. Click on a creature with the action button to highlight him. He's gonna go for the lion. Oh, I know it. If you're sure, click the action button again on him. Oh, great choice, boss. So, boss, you've been asleep a long time. Do you need the refresher about how to move like a god? Use the action button on this scroll to find out how to move and look around. Click the action button on this scroll to skip tutorials. You will miss out on tribute if you skip it, though.
This is a gold scroll. These lead you through the story. Silver scrolls lead to quests in the world. Bronze scrolls are tutorials, which can teach you so much. Move the hand over the rock and hold down the action button to pick it up. Once you've got hold of it, release the button. So, let's move all these rocks out of the circle. Oh, that's it. You picked up the rock like an expert. Now, move it outside the circle and click the action button again to drop it on the ground. Oh, I say, you threw that beautifully. Well done. Reminds me of my cricketing days. Look, you have received 1,000 tribute, and you thoroughly deserve it. Another bronze scroll. So much to learn and so little time. You know, villagers are wonderfully versatile. They can do so much in the world. You can simply pick up a villager and put him or her next to something. The villager will take this as divine inspiration and become a disciple. Let's have a go at this, boss. Pick up this guy here and drop him over the highlighted area. Very good. Now drop him by a highlighted area. This person is safely working at the farm. And this guy is chopping trees for wood. And see, we got a builder. Disciple breeder. Don't look, leader. The breeders are doing whatever it is such people do. You got all that, boss? Uh, of course you did. And to prove it, there's a thousand tribute waiting for you. Look, a silver scroll. I wonder what that man is trying to do. Look, a silver scroll. Look at these peaceful people. How lovely. We could help their friends by moving them so they can be together in the main valley. Isn't that sweet? A little lost valley of people.